Good evening. Uh, this is Mike Brown, the Mike Brown channel. Uh, this is uh, a VR for my buddy, the real Cobra Burnout. Uh, <laughs> actually, I probably really don't have anything hardly American made. Uh, unfortunately, Walmart's about the closest store to me, and as you know, everything Walmart has is pretty well Chinese. Uh, you know, I did buy a Smith & Wesson SD9VE there about a month ago, but uh, I haven't really done much with it yet because it's been wet. I don't want to go outside and, and uh, you know, end up hurting myself or whatever, you know, slipping. Because my yard gets real muddy, and, uh, well, it's a yard. <laughs> Uh, American made well here's a shelf right here that's uh, American made uh, my wife's grandfather made it when she was a child uh, and my wife's 40 years old now uh, 42 to be exact and uh, it's been here since then, since I think she said she was about 10 years old when we built it. And uh, the house was built in the 40s. So, yeah, that's what I got American made. Uh, you know, um, I drink a lot of water from the Niagara, uh, but it's. It's, uh, I believe it's Ontario, California, but I'm not real sure. Uh, it says Ontario CA, but eh, you don't know. Uh, I didn't really check up on it, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this this house is the house itself was uh, American made. Everything in it, uh, it's not changed since her grandfather and grandmother build it and uh, it's a small house of course it was built during the the 40s when you know dust bowl and all that good stuff was going on or at least that's what I was told I don't really know but uh, but it's, it's still standing still livable uh, we live in it her uh, grandfather and grandmother passed and it was given to her mom and uh, now her mom's passed away and we moved here about two years ago and uh yeah it's, it's really sad because her mom was a very special lady uh, when i met her mom we headed off and uh you know she uh, she treated me like her own son and you know it, uh, it hurts to think sometimes about stuff like that, but, you know, she'll live on in this house, or her grandma and grandpa live on in this house, and uh, hopefully this will be the last move I ever have to make. Uh, it's very small, three bedroom, I know three bedroom sounds like a lot, but, uh, the bedrooms, the two smaller bedrooms, uh, twin size beds in each, and you got just a hair more, you know, to put dresser and a couple other small items. The master queen bed really takes up, uh, and of course we got a couple dressers and I got my guns and stuff. Uh, I've got a couple guns that probably made in the U.S., but, you know, besides the Smith & Wesson, I've got a Marlin Model 60 that I bought. I was probably about 18 years old. Maybe 19. Got it, and I got a Mossberg Maverick 88, and... And I've got uh, Jennings J22 pistol by Brico. I'm not sure who made it, but 
you know, who knows? Uh, got a couple of single shot shotguns, and and uh, that's about it, really. I've, because of course I've got uh, uh, Mossberg uh, 715T that looks like an AR-15, uh, 25 round mag. <laughs> a lot of people stopped and looked at it. Well, oh, asked me if it's a machine gun. No, it's a semi-automatic. It shoots little 22s. Do a lot of planking, me and my girls. But uh, that's about it. And I'm I'm American-made, but unfortunately, there's no such thing as a true American-made person. If if you actually go back through everybody's family tree everybody's come from another nation and uh, you know you personally may not have but, but uh, your mom or dad or your grandparents or great grandparents or somewhere on down the line there was somebody f from your family that come to the United States and uh, but that's another <laughs> that's another uh, video uh, but I uh, appreciate you letting me do a video and, uh, and anybody that likes can subscribe if they want I don't do a whole lot of videos kind of laid up right now uh, got some stuff seriously going on with my back and my legs and now uh, you know, hopefully the doctor gets me fixed it's been almost two years now and uh, they keep doing peddly low crap here and there. Insurance companies, you know. What are you going to do? Well, thank you. And uh, I'll end this video. And we'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye.